Hi, this is Rachel from TLC Inspirations, and today I'm going to show you how to do what I call a primitive patch. Um, I'm not a big fan of doing regular patches on jeans, and I guess I'm a little lazy um, in my sewing, and this is an easier way for me to do it. It's also a little more, I guess, hippie stylish, and that's kind of how I dress. So. These jeans I've had <laughs> for a while. They're my favorite jeans and I don't want to let them go so I'm, I'm constantly patching them with old scrap fabric. And you can see this is kind of on the side. I had a little hole happen here and this is up by the pocket. And so I just use little scrap pieces. I fold them in half, pin them around the back, and then I zigzag all the way around the edge as close to the edge as I can so that I can keep the fray going because I actually like that. Today we have a new big hole in my other knee. So we are going to yet use another piece of fabric. Okay I've turned my my pant leg inside out, my jeans, and you can see there's my hole and all my frayed edges. <clears throat> all I'm gonna do is pick out a piece of my fabric and I'm just gonna cut a piece that I can fold in half and cover the whole width but I want to give it like an extra I don't know I probably would go an extra inch around the edge and then we can trim it off later it's a little easier that way so I'm gonna be real quick about this not real fancy and I'm just gonna leave the fold in too because it's quicker so here's my full piece and I'm just gonna fold it in half and you can see I've got a little extra space over here and a little extra space over here. I guess I did more like half inch. But if you need extra space, you can also go single. You can go single on part of it. If you found that you cut it too short. Anyways, all I'm gonna do is pin it in place. You can see that I have uh, my jeans in the machine and I've got my presser foot down and I'm just gonna swing in here and do a zigzag. I'm just going to keep it near the edge. I've got a little fray that doesn't want to go under so I put my needle down, lift my presser foot up, and then drop it back down, you know, while I tuck it under. And then we're going to continue to go forward. And I'm going to go all the way here and then I'm going to tuck my needle down in the fabric lift my presser foot and I'm going to rotate now rotating is a little bit tricky because there's a lot of jean material and you've got to stuff a move things around a bit but once I get where I want to be I'm going to drop that presser foot back down and I'm just going to try to what I'm trying to do is just keep close to the fray I'm just working my way around the fray slowly but surely. Okay, I'm gonna pivot again. Now if you get to a point where you can't pivot anymore, well, you may have to reinsert the jeans in a different way. I can usually get my way through here, but it does take a little bit of working the material. All right, you can see that this is what we've got once we're done on the inside. And all we're going to do is pull the pins and trim all this off, and then we're done. Here's the patch from the outside. Get these little suckers out here. Okay, you can see it's secure all the way around, not going anywhere. And I don't know if you can even see the if you can even see the stitching around the edge there. It's just barely there. It's blue. But it should hold. 
and it's a stylish way to keep your jeans going a little while longer. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us again.